who's looking forward to London 2 then? From fishing it, filming and editing it, I have enjoyed the whole process of producing this film for you. And let me tell you something, it is probably one of the best edits that I've ever put together. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tune in because around Christmas time, you've got a video to look forward to watching and I am psyched to share it with you. There is yet to be a release date, but it is coming and I'm going to put a date on it within the next week or so. So like I said, stay tuned and up to date and you'll know exactly when that video is coming. A couple of weeks ago now, I dropped my first video um, for Tackle Tuesdays. And this was an idea that I came up with when there wasn't a lot of content to be creating, so I still wanted to produce stuff to put on my channel. And I don't want it to come across like I'm selling a product or trying to push something in your direction, which isn't the case. I am sponsored by Nash Tackle, so a lot of these tackle reviews will be a Nash product, unless it's a clothing company or a range that they want to send me to be reviewed on this channel, then that is something that I will do. But today's topic, we're going to be looking at hook sharpening. And Nash really do have a wide variety for sharpening hooks. And I think this is something that is well overlooked in the industry. I know a lot of people think, you know, out of the packet hooks are sharp enough, which in a lot of cases they are. But personally for me, if I'm fishing for a Pacific fish, or I've been targeting a venue for a while, I want to maximize my chances of hooking that fish. And I am quite fussy when it comes to hook sharpening. Um, I need them to be sticky sharp, literally if it touches my hand I need it to be staying in there. Um, so, so over the last six months I've been trying all types of different files and vices but there is a couple of products in particular now from Nash which I think they have done exceptionally well. Um, you've got the Hook Doctor first of all which I've seen quite a lot of bad press about this item and if you're anything like me I like to travel light I literally have my backpack on me and my stalking gear you you all know you watch my videos but I do have one of these hook doctors at home when I'm sitting at my desk or whatever and I'm preparing rigs it is such an easy way of sharpening a packet of hooks really quickly and that is something that I do do now. I have a few packs of hooks in my work box that are already pre-sharpened, which I have sat there and done within, you know, sort of 10, 15 minutes with using the Hook Doctor. Um, and it was, like I said, when it first came out, I thought it was a product that I wouldn't actually personally use, but I have done and it's built really well. It's fast and it's efficient. So, you know, for a product that does that and speeds up time when you're on the bank, then you know, that's a winner for me. We've gone over hook sharpening back indoors and I've explained to you why I use the Hook Doctor for bulk sharpening because it's just quick and easy. Um, and I'm an angler that doesn't like to travel with a lot of gear, you know. I really like to travel like, that's why I have minimal stuff when I'm on the bank. I've got minimal time as well. I haven't got time to be setting up and waiting hours, so you know. So all my fishing's done off the cuff, really. A lot of baiting, and now I'm dropping on for a couple of hours, which this video will be released to you at some point, but we're not gonna go too much into that. So when I'm out on the bank, if my hook point becomes a little bit dinked, a little bit bird over, I'm just not happy with it, then have you seen this little selection? It really is a work of art, these. I've always been into sharpening my hooks, just because I find that fish can become a little bit tricky sometimes and if that hook really isn't dead sharp, sometimes they can get away with it and I've seen it with my own eyes under my rod tip. Yes, I'm sponsored by Nash, but I will only review products which I think are worthwhile for you guys and what I actually use in my own fishing. Um, so this is exactly why these two products are a good Tackle Tuesday review because look at it Like I said, it's a work of art. You've got the fine diamond file in there You've got your magnifying glass You've got your vise and a couple of other files as well and you've got a lovely little case to keep it all in Really handy bit of kit and I'll tell you what 
when you're putting in a lot of effort for your fishing, why would you risk not having the sharpest hook possible? I know hooks out of the packet are sharp, but they're not quite sharp enough for me. So that is why I take my time to craft the stickiest hook point I can get away with because I really don't want to muck up a chance of an incredible capture. I know I keep saying it, but it's done. London 2 is coming to your screens this Christmas. A little present from me. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell and you'll be notified every time a video drops. I'll see you very shortly with the big edit. See you soon.